presenting a 1950 Ford Club Coupe, priced at $11,500. It's a two-door sedan model that was previously owned by a now-deceased individual. The Ford Club Coupe runs and drives well. The interior of the car appears new and fresh, as does the engine compartment. The trunk is also in good condition. The exterior of the car is painted in a hot rod black color, which is in good condition. The car is fitted with new Coker white wall tires, which have only been driven for approximately 50 to 60 miles. Overall, the car appears to be in excellent condition and seems to have a lot of life left in it. The 1955 Cadillac Series 62, priced at $10,900. This four-door vehicle features a rebuilt 331 motor and is in running condition, with the ability to drive smoothly even at speeds of about 70 miles per hour on the expressway. The car was repainted approximately 25 years ago. The interior also needs attention. Despite these issues, the car often receives compliments for its appearance. The car comes with some extra parts, but it's worth noting that parts for this model are quite expensive nowadays. The car was inherited from the current owner's uncle last year and is being sold due to lack of use. The car's power windows and seat are functional, with the exception of one rear window. All exterior and interior lights are operational. The car was originally equipped with a factory AC system, which is currently not working although a compressor and lines are available. For potential buyers from out of state, the owner is willing to provide videos of the car running and showing the exterior and interior. However, any transportation costs for the car would have to be covered by the buyer. The 1953 Hudson Hornet, priced at $8,000. This particular model has been transformed into a unique hot rod. Its height has been reduced by three inches giving it a sleeker, more streamlined appearance. The grill has been customized, and it features 59-style taillights, adding a touch of vintage charm. The car has been fitted with a 350 Camaro subframe, motor, and transmission, enhancing its performance capabilities. The current owner is selling this car as part of a downsizing effort due to age. This Hudson Hornet, with its blend of classic design and modern enhancements, is ready for a new journey. The 1951 Studebaker Commander, priced at $15,000. This particular model is a Regal Starlight Coupe and it is in excellent condition. It has been preserved in its original state with a 232 V8 manual transmission and a six-volt electrical system. It features a three-speed overdrive and a newly refurbished interior. The car comes with many new old stock spare parts.
the 1956 Dodge Custom Royal, priced at $13,000. This vehicle is powered by a 315 V8 engine and is currently owned by its second owner. Between 2009 and 2017, the car underwent a comprehensive rebuild costing $16,640, which included a total engine rebuild by Portland Engine Rebuilders in 2009. The car has new wiring, a rebuilt transmission, and new brakes. It is fitted with Hurst rims, which are not original to the car. The door panels have been rebuilt using original material. The paint job, which is not original, was a first-time endeavor and may not be perfect. Documentation for most of the work done since the car was purchased in 1956 is available. The 1953 Packard Clipper, priced at $15,000. The car is in excellent condition, having undergone a thorough overhaul in 2017. It comes equipped with factory power steering, power brakes, and an aftermarket air conditioning system. The engine is a 327 flathead, straight eight-cylinder, paired with a three-speed automatic transmission. The interior of the car is in good shape, According to the available paperwork, the car has not been involved in any accidents. It was restored when it had covered 80,000 miles and currently, the mileage stands at 82,300. The car runs and drives well, and it has new radial white wall tires that have covered less than 500 miles. However, there are a couple of minor issues. There is a crack in the rear passenger window and a spot of faded paint on the top due to heavy buffing. Despite these minor issues, the car is in a condition that allows it to be driven home immediately. The 1949 Chrysler Saratoga, available for $4,900. This vehicle has been owned by the Singh family since 1961 and has been stored indoors for decades, with its engine started at least once a year. It is equipped with a straight eight flathead engine that runs strong and smooth and a fluid drive transmission that functions as expected. The car has recently had an oil and filter change and holds a clear title. The Saratoga model was Chrysler's performance machine, essentially a stripped down version of the New Yorker with the eight cylinder engine providing more horsepower than the lesser six. The 1956 Chrysler Windsor, priced at $6,950. This vintage vehicle is operational and capable of driving. However, it requires the installation of new rubber brake lines, which are currently located in the trunk. The car's interior needs some attention. It requires a new dash pad, carpeting, and a headliner. Despite these needs, the seat covers are in acceptable condition. With minimal work, this car could serve as a reliable daily driver. It has been fitted with a new master cylinder and a new battery, enhancing its performance and reliability. 